Trust me. Awesome. Then we'll start. Okay, we'll start. Woo! Great. Yes. 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 No more safety. I love the enthusiasm. Okay. Motor curves. Do you know what a motor is? It's something that creates the force. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna go. Wait. What? Huh? We're, we're gonna go through motor curves very slowly. But just the Uh huh. Yeah. That's the sita. So. I mean slowly. Oh. <laughs> Wait. So people say about. Speed. Yeah. Okay. All right, so okay. free speed. What is the free speed of a motor? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. yeah, that's oh. very close. It's, uh, it's, it's, the, it's basically a no load speed. So when it has no resistance at all, it goes at the free speed. So if you just plug in a motor to whatever voltage it's spec for, or whatever voltage, you know, well, yeah, we'll talk about that. Cool. So free speed means no load. Um, it's the max speed that the motor can go without like you trying to push it to go faster. So on its own, it'll go. It's free speed. Okay, so how does the torque relate to the speed of a motor? More torque, less speed. Yes, exactly. So there's something called the stall torque, which is the point where the rotor isn't moving at all. So it's at zero speed, and that's going to be the maximum torque. Um, and if you're at free speed, there's no torque, right? So in between, it, it just trades off linearly. So if you're at 30% free speed, what percent stall torque are you at? 70%. Yeah, exactly. If you're at 70% free speed, what percent stall torque are you at? 30%. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, yeah, that's it. You got it. Um, often you'll see these um, motor curves. Uh, this is really hard to read here, but um, we're going to go over this more tomorrow. Um, um, yeah, it's really hard to read. But this is basically this is VexPro. If you go to VexPro's site, they have a whole bunch of specs on each motor, and they'll show you a graph like this. Um, we're just going to worry about this yellow line today. Um, that's the torque line. So if you look here, this. This x-axis, this is RPM. So here is zero RPM, and here we're at our max torque of 0.71 Newton meters. And here, at a free speed, free speed's like 19,000 RPM, we're at a torque of zero. And see how it's linear? Great, good. <laughs> OK, so um, just one note on these, these um, graphs like this. This is at the spec voltage for the motor. So the, the, this is at 12 volts, OK? Um, you'll see a motor will often have a voltage next to it. It'll be like, oh, this is a 12 volt motor. Or this is an 18 volt motor. All that means is that's the max voltage you can run the motor at, OK? Um, and uh, motor behavior based on voltage is also linear. So if I gave you the stall torque at 12 volts, let's say I said the stall torque at 12 volts was 1 Newton meter. What would the stall torque be at 6 volts? One half. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's linear. How about at, uh, how about at 3 volts? One fourth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, how about torque? So, uh, no, sorry. How about, how about speed? What if it goes at 18,000 RPM? So let's say the free speed at 12 volts is spec to be 18,000 RPM. OK. At 6 volts, what's the RPM going to be? Yeah. What about at two volts? Cool. Great. Sweet. Yep. And that's it. Great. We're done. Fastest ever. Great. Here's homework. Yeah.